Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I was so kindly sent these three books uh, for review. They are by Twigs Green Page and I'm not sure if that is her real name or if it's just a pen name. Um, but yes, we have a Halloween Mandalas book. We have a Mandala Doodles book, which this is volume one, so I'm not sure if there are more volumes than this. And as you can see, these are two travel size books. And then right up my alley is <laughs> Pretty Patterns Adult Coloring Book, again, volume one. So not sure if there are more volumes to the pattern books either. But seeing as how it's Halloween, let's look through this book first. Let me zoom you in a little bit because this is a smaller book. Okay, and this is a dedication page. And then we get right into the pictures themselves. So we have some, what I'm assuming is skulls. Oh, very detailed one. Some bats in there, a whole bunch of bats hanging in the trees, and then pumpkins in the middle. Okay, that is not a mandala page, but we have the pumpkins and looks like bleeding hearts. Just kind of repeating on the page. Oh, well, that's kind of neat. Not sure what this is in the middle and how it pertains to Halloween. It says meow and hiss. <laughs> so we have our Halloween kitties and we have our cauldrons in here. And I do not know my religions. I apologize. I don't know if that is Jewish. Again, I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. Wowie wowie. Now that would take some fine liners. Holy cow. That is a detailed one. We have some skeletons and pumpkins, ravens. And another mandala, but don't really see Halloween things in there, but it's a neat design. Hmm. Here's another one that's, you know, these kind of look like filler pages to me. So we have the cats and looks like a witch's hat. Nether mandala, we have the moons, pumpkins in the middle. Oh, that one's really cool, but again, not Halloween-ish. She must have combined, you know, Halloween things along with other types of mandalas. Another very detailed one, skeletons and R.I.P. headstones. Another regular mandala. Sugar skulls. You could do, you know, each one of these in a different color combination. All kinds of Halloween things in a mandala. Another regular mandala. All different kinds of skulls. <laughs> Looks like the devil. <laughs> Oops. 
some moons here and a bunch of bats. Bats all the way in. <laughs> Whole bunch of pumpkins. Here's the bleeding hearts again in mandala form. And here are those witches' hats, brooms, cauldrons, and a whole bunch of the kitties. Spiders and skulls and bones. Oh my. A bunch more skulls. All kinds of spooky things. Haunted houses and ghosts. Pumpkins. More of the bleeding hearts and the sugar skulls in mandala form. Spider web. And that's the end of the book. She lists other titles, so all of her other books. She has um, a number of coloring books, but then she has a whole bunch of journals out there too. ADHD resources. Hmm. Then doodle notebooks, dot grid journals, and bullet planners. So I guess if you guys do your, you know, you fill out planners or you do journaling, you might want to check out some of her things. Um, I do say I do see she has some uh, naughty books <laughs> out there for those of you who uh, like this one I won't show this but it's a cussing coloring <laughs> book um, this one at least has the asterisk in there but uh, yeah so she has a couple of the naughty books out there <laughs> Here on the back, she has um, just some thumbnails of some of the images. There are 30 pictures in here. These are all hand-drawn pictures, as you can see. And I guess this particular book, and I, I even when things are sent to me for review, I am always very honest in my reviews. This particular book I don't think is really for me. Now some other people may really like this kind of thing. I do feel like some of the pages are just filler pages like that. Um, you know, and it is called a Halloween mandalas book, but many of them are not Halloween related. You know, like there's I feel uh, another filler page where she just takes the one picture and repeats it. Um, you know, same like that one. So I guess that's just my opinion. And like I said, there are probably many of you out there that would like this book. It's just, I guess, not up my alley. So. There is that one, the Halloween Mandalas book. So let's look at the next one. This is called Mandala Doodles, Volume 1. Okay, there we go. Here is her copyright information and her social media information. And then we get right into the book. Okay, that's kind of neat. Oh, I like that one. So far, I'm liking this book quite a bit more than the Halloween one. There's a simpler one. Oh, that one's kind of cool, too. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking this book much better. Here's one with nice, thick black lines. So alcohol markers would work great on this one. And they are all single-sided, so 
you know, you could use uh, alcohol markers. Just put, of course, a piece of cardstock back behind. So some of them do have thin black lines, like this one. And then some have the real thick black lines. Oh, I like that one. I don't know what it is about lines, you know, coloring in lines like that, but I just love them. <laughs> well, that's cool too. I like that one too. There's another dark lines, thick black lines, and here's a thinner one. So I guess there's something for everybody. <laughs> this would be great for uh, fine liners. Another thicker one. Black. Thicker black lines. This one's kind of in between. There's a thick black line. Again, another really great one for alcohol markers. Kind of neat. Oh, I like that one too. Oh, that's cool. I like that one. Very different types of mandalas in this book. Some a little more detailed than the others. Oh, here we have the one from the Halloween book. <laughs> And I believe that one was in the Halloween book, too. There's a little more detailed one with the finer lines. Oh, I like that one, too. And that is the end of that. And again, lists her other coloring books that she has out. All right, on the back page, again, some thumbnails from images in the back, and there are 36 images in this book. Let's move on to the last book, and I'm going to zoom you back out because this is a full-size coloring book. Um, don't have a ruler here, but it pretty much looks like your standard 8.5 by 11. So let's see what's in the patterns book. She again has a dedication page in her social media. And then we get right into the patterns. Oh, yes, I like that. Some more darker line work. Ooh, yes, that one's right up my alley. Looks like light bulbs in here, right? That would be a fun one. Oh my gosh. Oh, I could see using the uh, Sharpie Ultra Fine tips in this one. Yes. And my glitter gel pens, of course, will be used in this book. There's another nice one for alcohol markers. And what does this say? Oh, that's kind of neat. It's repeating saying, you are awesome. <laughs> oh, that could be fun too. 
if any of you guys like repeating patterns like I do. Oh, we have some bees in a honeycomb. And lots of flowers. Oh, I like this one too. Again, all hand-drawn designs. Could do quite a bit with the background in this one. It is thinner paper, so I don't know if watercolor would work too well in this book. You know, unless you don't use much uh, water. Oh, I like this too. Ooh, wow. I like that. That would be another one for alcohol markers. Oh, that's cool. A little more detailed one. Another one for fine liners. Oh, that I like. Cool. Another one I like. Oh, wow. Now, for me, this would be, you know how I like to, you know, just repeat the pattern. This one would be a little more difficult for me to follow, although, oh, gosh. One moment, please. Darn phone. <laughs> I turn my cell phone on airplane mode so I don't get phone calls while I'm recording, but then I got the landline to worry about. <laughs> Oh, man. Cool. Yes, I like this book. Oh, that would be fun. This I could actually do with my gel pens yet. Maybe fine liners in this very teeny center, but... Oh, wow. So again, you can see she has some real thick lines and uh, some thinner ones. Oh, I like that too. I keep saying that, don't I? You know me and my patterns. <laughs> okay, and that, let me see. Oh yeah, one back in here. Oh, it lists again her other titles, her other books. Okay, here what it says for your prompt journals. This one says escape room tracker scrapbook and then journals and stuff. So again, if you do that type of uh, activities, um, uh, you could look at some of her other books. So this one has 26 pages of pretty patterns. Okay, so that is the pattern book, the mandala doodles and the Halloween mandalas. And like I said, I, I like these two. This one, again, I don't, it's not really, I guess, up my alley. But everybody has different uh, opinions, should I say. They, every, every one of us likes different things, which is awesome. Um, that's a, that's a great thing. So I will link all three of these books down below in the description. I uh, thank you for joining me on this flip through. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. And as always, happy coloring. Bye, guys.